Sorry to disappoint. We're still forking it, guys, with my bowl of food. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, for some reason, I love eating in, like, large bowls. I don't know. Do people get that? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's the same way that where people like to eat in cups. It's like, oh, I'm one of those people. But, like, I don't know. If you if you subscribe to that, then you'll understand. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe it all came from this, the video. Like, I don't know. Like, you guys are probably super young for this. But, like, Madonna came out with this, like, documentary. I don't know, like, years ago. Like, in the 80s, 90s or something. It was called Truth or Dare. And I didn't watch all of it. But I remember watching one part of it. And she was, like, eating... cereal from this huge bowl and for some reason I thought that was cool I don't know maybe that's what's causing all of this like why I always eat with like a huge bowl um so I kind of want to talk a little bit about how she's going with this whole gaining weight stuff and and I've got comments from you guys and, like, emails from people about, like, dude, you know, like, you're trying, you're being so, like, it seems like you're being so casual about it. Like, it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? I'm just, like, a, it comes off like I'm, it's, like, a hobby that I'm basically into for now, right? Um, so I kind of want to talk a little bit about that because it's like that what's really going on is like, that's definitely not true. Um, and right now I'm getting to the part where the weight gain is getting really hard. Like I, if you guys have looked at my reverse dieting shit, those videos, um, where it was, like, kind of more depressing. I don't know. I thought that, those, that entire video series was super depressing. Um, but I kind of bailed right in the middle of the reverse dieting thing because it got really hard. And, you know, I'm getting into that phase right now where, like, gaining weight is getting hard. It's easy at first because it's, like, It's not like a, you have a choice. You know what I mean? Like, when I first started this whole thing, this recovery phase, it wasn't hard. I was literally, like, I recognized that I was literally, like, dying. You know what I mean? My body was being super weird. I couldn't even walk up the steps. You know I mean? Without, like, stopping halfway through a step. Um, it was kind of obvious that, like, you had to do something about it, right? So, like, the beginning, like, after that and, like, eating more and stuff like that, it wasn't super hard. I mean, what's the alternative? You're going to die, right? Um, but then when you get out of that, like, I'm going to die phase, the death phase, it kind of gets harder because then it's, like, You're getting healthier, you're not in, like, a critical stage where you're going to pass out and just, like, be found dead. You're better, right? And so, this part is, like, literally where boys become men, you know what I mean? Like, you literally have to force yourself to keep going. And that's what I'm doing right now, and it's hard. No bullshit. I know it may come off like I'm taking this like whatever and it's not that hard for me, but it is really hard, guys. Um, I'm struggling watching the scale go up. It's a total bitch. Um, and like at times I'm kind of like I find myself going back to like my old habits of like I don't want to like I'll like make all the food, but I don't want to eat all of it. Does that make sense? Like I just kind of 
start throwing stuff away. Like, I'll throw pieces away. Like, if I'm eating a sandwich, I'll kind of throw some of it away. You know what I mean? And some of it I do without even thinking. It's just, like, I just, I get uncomfortable, you know? And that's happening more and more often. Where I'm uncomfortable. So... It's rough, you know? And I don't love it. I mean, God, and like, my addiction to peanut butter is real. Like, it is for real, dude. I'm eating that stuff, like, I'm going to like a few jars a week. The weight isn't coming off on my face either, so I still look fucking skeletal as fuck. But whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, guys. So yeah, I kind of want to just like talk about, you know, like what's going on in my head, you know, and it's a struggle and I'm, you know, dealing with kind of not backing down. And I know this is like, I feel like a little controversial, but like, I know I'm saying my videos, like I can always go back, you know, I can always, um, like once I get fat, I'm just skinny again. Clearly, I've done it several times, you know? Not that bad at it, right? But let me tell you that that whole line of thinking is like a survival instinct, right? In order for me to make it easier on myself to go through this process, like, I'm telling myself that I can make a different decision later on. Does that make sense? And so it's like a way that I'm kind of making myself go through it by basically saying like at some point when everybody's like cool and I'm not you know dying or anything I'll just go back to doing what I used to do and that makes it easier to do it straight up now Joy are you really gonna go back to doing you know to kind of being like bulimic or anorexic or whatever again I don't know I honestly don't know I just know that I gotta gain more weight and I've got to like make it more comfortable for me to do it and all I'm basically using any means necessary to play these mind games you know your eating disorder is a mind game so you gotta like fight fire with fire you know what I mean you gotta like try to like out mind game the mind fuck, you know? So right now I'm trying to like do that by just saying I'll just go back to being an You Now, in my heart of hearts, I hope like the process of gaining weight and stuff like that gets me to like a healthier mindset, right? And that's what happened with the first time when I started binging and stuff like that and I kind of let go. Um, I actually got to a healthier mindset and much more balanced and it wasn't as difficult for me to eat things I wasn't comfortable with, you know what I mean? Um, and so my hope is that like, look, if I get more weight, maybe I think, you know, maybe I'll like look at myself differently and I'll think I look good and the clothes will fill out, maybe you know, I'll finally, like, please my mom and get her in a relationship or something like that. And that's probably not going to happen, you guys. But, um, you know, like, maybe I'll, like, realize at that point, like, I'm kind of looking good, you know? Like, maybe I want to focus on something else. Maybe I want to focus on bodybuilding versus, like, getting super skinny. I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, you just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You just got to get through today, right? I'm saying all this shit because I don't want you guys to think like it's just so easy for me. Like it, this is an easy process. And that so there's, you know, that you, it should be easy for you too because it's not. I mean, you've got to put yourself as a soldier, right? You're a soldier of this fucking war. And by any means necessary, you got to like get through it. 
And the truth of the matter is, if you gain weight and you get healthier and you feel better, you can make a different decision. Like, you can decide, I can go back to being bulimic, I'll go back to being anorexic. You can decide that, right? So it's up to you, though. And for me, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope that I don't make that choice again. But I just don't know. So, in the meantime, I just got to, like, you know, do me and, like, say whatever I need to say to, like, convince myself to keep doing it. You know? And that's the reality of the situation. So, I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about that because I felt like people were kind of getting the wrong idea. I ain't special, guys. I'm fucked up like everybody else on Earth. And we're all fucked up in different ways and we all struggle with whatever. Like something, it may not be eating, but it may be something else. I don't know, whatever the fuck, right? But like how you kind of make out on it says a lot about who you are. And I just want to be strong enough to kind of get through this phase.